saying. Right, a saying. And that's what we became. We became a proverb, a proverb and a byword. Black and corn, smoky, coon. You understand what I'm saying? The Lord said that's what we're going to become. Go ahead, African American. You're right, colored boy. That's what we became. Go ahead and read. Among all nations, where the Lord shall read. Among some nations. All nations. Among just Israel, where, they, where them fake Jews and that's, that's the only place it's going to happen. Go ahead, what it say? Among, no, among who? Among all nations. Among all nations. Where what? Where the Lord shall lead you. Where he shall lead you. So wherever he scattered us at, that's what we're going to be called by words and power words. Everywhere. These people, were, they, they were scattered. They weren't scattered like us. Every, we scattered everywhere. Now I'm going to give you something because you weren't here. But I'm going to give you something that's a little more defined so you would know. Let me ask you something, sister. How did the, how did the Negroes get scattered in the captivity? No, you got to know. You got to know. How did we get into America? How do you, sister? 30. Okay, so I know you. How did we get to America? We were captured. We were captured. Africans ain't our people. I'm gonna say we gon' we gon' we gon' prove that to you. Look at my look at my book right there. Give me uh Babylon Timber. Uh, give me uh is it Babylon Timber too? No, uh, it's uh the big the Bible dictionary. Um, what was that? What was the question? How did we get it? How did we get? It? I know you know through history, man. How did how did we how did we get over here? We were captured, and what what did they put us on? Oh, thank you. So let's read the Bible. Let's see what the Bible say about the children of Israel going into captivity. Go and read that, brother. And the Lord shall bring thee. Exodus 22. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee. And Egypt. Exodus 22. Exodus 22. Exodus 22. Go ahead, brother. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, let's see what Egypt means first. According to the Bible. Go ahead and read Exodus 22. You can make Exodus 13 and 3. Exodus 20 and 2. Go ahead. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. All right? So we we seeing that Egypt means house of bondage so far. We're going to back it up. Go ahead and read that in 13 and 3. You give me 6 and 20. Go ahead. And Moses said unto the people, uh -huh. remember this day in which he came out from Egypt. So, the, so Moses said, remember this day in which he came out from Egypt. Go ahead. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Okay? So we let you know Egypt means house of bondage. We're going to back it up again. Give me Deuteronomy 6. 6 and 12 or 6 and 24, one of them. Which one is it? Yeah, Deuteronomy 6 and 12, I think. We want to get one more definition on Egypt, just so you know. I think it's 6 and 12. Then beware lest thou forget the Lord, uh -huh. who brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead. From the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So we got it again, right? So we see that Egypt means house of bondage. Okay? Now, let's go back to Deuteronomy 286. Let's keep going. I see that. Right. Oh, pretty good, pretty good, bro. Let's go and see that. Let's go and see this. What you got? Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt. And the Lord shall bring you into what? House of bondage, right? Then we come here into bondage. Go ahead, bro. Again, but ship. Again. So this time, you're going into captivity by ships. That was us on them ships, sister. What's that? It was, it was not Africans. I thought those was... are the ships. That's us at the bottom of those ships. It was not was Africans. Toxic. No, those are ships. Those are people on the bottom of ships. That's us that was on those ships that the Bible speaks of. I seen the movie. Okay. Keep reading, bro. No, 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 no. We follow what the Bible says, sister. Muslims don't follow it by. Muslims had us in slavery for 14 centuries longer than anybody. Muslim is Arab religion. Now what it say? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh -huh, by the way, so he said the same way he said it, this is how you going into captivity. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more. You're not gonna see your land again. So that's why you here in captivity. You ain't gonna see your land again. Until he get back. Go ahead, read, bro. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Go ahead. The bond men and bond women. That was the bond man. That's a bond woman. That's a bond. Matter of fact, give me what's name. Give me dude on 284. Yeah, That's us being sold on them slave ships. Didn't the scripture just say you're gonna be sold to your enemy? That was us being sold. That wasn't Africa. Now let me show you something. Let me show you how we are not Africa. This is a book called uh, the Zondervan Complex Bible Dictionary, okay? I'm gonna give you a definition. The definition is, is called ham. Alright? You ever heard of ham? Yeah. No, no. Matter of fact, Noah. Noah had three sons, okay? Ham, Shem, and Japheth. 
All right, these were these were the guys that were on the uh. All right, now these were the guys that were on the. Right, these are Noah's sons. These are the guys that repopulated the earth after the Lord sent the flood the first time. Okay. When the Lord sent the flood, okay, and after these, after after the flood happened, these three sons repopulated the earth. Okay. Let's see who Ham. Let's see if we were we from Ham. Go ahead and read along as I read. Okay. So you can see in that right there. All right. Ham, the youngest son of Noah. Born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Progenitor means father. So he was the father of the dark races, okay? What does it say after that? Not the what? But who? Egyptians, go ahead. Uh huh. And Canaanites. We're not African, sister. He became the progenitor of the dog races, not the Negroes. Give me from Babylon the Timber to out that bag, brother. And let me say, this, this is a dictionary that you can find at any store. This ain't come from my room or anything. You can come, you can go to the store. Give me what's name. Give me Exodus 1. Give me Exodus 111. Let's see the script. What did you say? Deuteronomy 28 and 48? 28 and 40, yes. We're talking about that yoke of iron, man. Um, oh. You alright? What's up? You okay? Oh, I'm a real, I'm a good one. What you want? What you want? Do, do the round of me 48 first. Therefore, do the round of me 28 and 48. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Therefore, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, turn up, turn up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got to take my hands off. Do round 2840. Lord, read that. Therefore, uh -huh. shall thou serve thine enemies. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord going to send against you. Go ahead. In hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. So how you get your food, sister? How you get your food when you're hungry? Where you go to get your food? You go to the store. Do you got your own land where you grow? Now the Lord say you're gonna get it from your enemies that he's gonna send against you and hunger and what else? And in thirst. And in thirst. Go ahead. Now you even paying for water. Go ahead. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. So you're gonna have to go to them to get your clothes also. Go and ahead. In, and in one of all things. And in one of everything, you gotta go to them. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Uh-huh. Upon thy cart. neck. Who had a yoke of iron on their neck? It's his cart. Until he have destroyed thee. Wow. That's a yoke of iron. And now they got a yoke of iron in your mind now. As a matter of fact, when you go to jail, what they put what they put on you? They yeah. put them iron handcuffs on you. <laughs> they put them iron handcuffs on you. You know what I'm saying? Give me Jeremiah 15 and 3, man. Let's let's kind of narrow this thing down a little bit. Let's kind of narrow it down to, to, to bring it bring it up a little bit to modern time. Let's see what happened in the 60s. Jeremiah 15 and 3. Yes, yeah. it's uh, 15 and 3 if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Jeremiah 15 and 3. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I will appoint over them four kinds. Lord said, I'm appointing over them yeah. four kinds. Four kinds of destruction. Go ahead. Said the Lord. Uh -huh. The swords to slay uh -huh. and the dogs to tear. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. You say, what? Now read that again. Swords to slay uh -huh. and the dogs to tear. What's that right there? What is that? Give me Isaiah 42 and 22. The fowls of the heaven and the fowls of the east of the earth uh -huh. to devour and destroy. That's right. And these also represent nations. But hey, man. But that's the But hey, I don't know. But. but you know, that's that's me. Right, right. No, I don't want to give you that right now. I don't want to confuse you. What, um, what, 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 Religion, yeah, everybody out there. We do hey. what the Bible says. Oh, I understand y'all. Yeah, everybody you, out you, there. You, is you, 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 you. Right, right. Just don't know it. No. Oh, when we come out, we are uh, uh, no. Free Damn Road. No. Yeah, y'all, uh, Free Damn Road. Um, no. He's really God. Yeah, and we come. Yeah, man, you need to come. No, no. no. Uh, He's talking about packet. I'm Free Damn, man. Yeah. No. And as a matter of fact, Daddy. we come together on Saturday, like he said. Because the Sabbath starts at Friday, Sunday. 
Yeah, yeah seven and they going against the Lord, man. <laughs> Ellen G. White, that's what her name? Ellen G. White? Yeah, man, she was a part of the Lakes and all that. All these are different religions, man. You understand what I'm saying? But the Lord never dealt with religion. You understand what I'm saying? He never dealt with that. Religion means oppression. And that's what they gave us. They given us these different religions to keep us oppressed. They don't want you to find out that this book was talking about you. Notice that they got all the churches in our neighborhoods. Why? Why is it such an effort to keep you from finding out the truth? Because if you find out the truth, you're going to turn back to the Most High God of Israel. The only true and living God. Which is the one who brought our forefathers out of Egypt through the Red Sea. The one who's going to bring us out of this captivity like he said he was. You understand what I'm saying? What you got to realize, sister, the same thing he did back then, he's going to do it again. Just like our forefathers came out of Egypt last, last time, we going to come out of Egypt this time. But they're not teaching us that. They got, give me Malachi 3 and 6, man. They got us thinking that we're going off to heaven. Not so. You're not. You're going back to the promised land. Where's the promised land? In the land of Israel. That's what he promised our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He did not promise them to come up there with them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What does the Lord pray? What's the Lord's prayer? Yeah, what's the Lord's prayer? Think about it. You. You. Uh huh. Go ahead. You. Uh -huh. You. He said the land. Where? Wait, hold on. He said the land. You the first, you the second person that that missed, that missed one. Thy kingdom come. That's right. Earth. Yeah, she didn't get there. She got it. Yeah. We'll let her get there. Yeah, that's oh. next. No, oh, okay. Yeah, she said it right. That's next. Okay. Okay. That will be done. Go ahead, three and six. Go ahead. That will be done. Uh huh. On earth. So he's teaching you how to pray. Pray for the kingdom to come well. On earth. That will be done. That kingdom come. That will be done. His will is well on this earth. Give me what, uh, what uh, Psalm 132. Yeah, I, I love it. Up in the, 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 um, father's prayer, but I never understood, understood it. it. Right, when right. I break it down, I put it down. I, I didn't know that's what I supposed to pray in my quiet. Right, right, right. right. Oh, man, he's coming prayer, back to the room. Right, give me go. Malachi 3 and 6. Go ahead and read that, bro. Let's see. 3 and 6. Go Malachi. Uh-huh. For I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Go ahead. I change not. I change not. So if he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt last time, he's going to do it again. See, we we not we not here in America by choice. We here in America by punishment. So you can't get up and leave it even if you wanted to because the captivity is massive. It's not just in America. The Lord scattered. Give me that scripture where the Lord said, I'm going to scatter you everywhere. That's what we are. We're scattered everywhere. So a lot of brothers try to get up and leave and go back. You know, try to go back to Israel and try to be accepted. No, the Lord going to destroy Israel, then build it back up. Then we going into the land. Right now, we're not. We're serving our punishment. So if you commit a crime, the judge, get, judge give you 10 years, he may give y'all some good behavior, but the Lord give his word. You ain't getting off early. The Lord said, you gonna, we gonna come, we gonna serve out our captivity, and that's what we doing. Don't expect to leave it no earlier and no, no later. But guess what? Our time is almost up. Our time is almost up. Give me St. Luke 17 to 26. Go and read, bro. What you got? No, you good. St. Luke 17 to What you got? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all. 17 to 26. Give me Genesis uh, uh, 6 and 5. 5 and 6. What you got? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Go ahead. From one end of the earth. From one end of the earth. Even unto the other. Even unto the other. Go ahead. And there shalt thou serve other gods. And you're going to serve other gods. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have. So been. our fathers did not know that God. Our forefathers didn't know him. They knew the God of Israel. Matter of fact, did I tell you to get something else? What is it? 132 and. Uh, go ahead and read it. For thy servant Jacob. Yeah. Go ahead and read. Hold on. For thy servant David sake. For thy servant David sake, turn out away the face of thine anointing. That ain't what I wanted. I wanted the one where God wanted to dwell on earth. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David, uh -huh. he will not turn from it. But the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. Go ahead. If thy children. Will keep my covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them. For your children also shall sit upon thy throne forevermore. Uh -huh. For the Lord hath chosen Zion. Uh -huh. He hath desired it for his habitation. Okay, so Zion is what? In the land of Israel. The Lord hath chosen Zion. He has what? He desired it for his habitation. He has this desire to come here on this earth and dwell in Zion. This is my rest forever. That's his rest. So he's going to be here on this earth. 
You understand what I'm saying? That's what you gotta understand. They got a secret going up to heaven. The Lord said, can't nobody go except for the one that came out. Who was that that came out? Christ. Matter of fact, that was Christ that they was dealing with in the Old Testament. Yeah. Christ is the one that opened up the, uh, uh, gave Moses the power, opened up the Red Sea. Right. Christ is the one that's gonna come back and call it all, cause all that destruction. But he looks like us. He don't look like that. He's not coming back, you know what I'm saying, to wrap to everybody off. And, and, and you ain't finna hear no nice song and all that. The Lord coming back with a vest to dip in blood. Meaning his garment's gonna be covered in blood. The wine press represents the death of many people. That disobeys his law, statutes, and commandments. That got their children celebrating Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Sunday worship, Valentine's Day. Let's go on. Every month you get shot up with some type of dope. And these churches pumping you with it. They pumping you with it. Every month you're spending your money on something. You know what it was? This, you know what it was? Fourth of July. You know what it was after Fourth of July? I was like, man, every month they got something. And I was like, oh, they ain't got nothing for August. Yes, they do got something for August. Returning to school. You got to spend your money to get back to school. Exactly, man. Every month they pimping you. They pumping you. Every month you getting pumped. And we don't even see it. But we got to turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. This is the one that's getting ready to bring this wrath. Do you actually think that he's going to let this homosexual mindset in this world pass? No. Give me St. Luke 17 and 26. You give me Jude 1 and 7, bro. Go ahead and read Saint what you got. 17 and 26. Go ahead and read. Come up to 22, man. Come up to 22. And he said unto the disciples. Go ahead. It's Christ talking right now. That's right. Go ahead. The days will come. The days going to come. When ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man. So you're going desi to desire to see Christ come back. That's why you had so many people running downtown on May 21st thinking Christ was coming back. They were designed to see him. But what the Lord say? Keep reading, bro. And ye shall not see it. And you shall not see it. Go ahead and read. And they shall say to you, uh -huh. see here. They shall say to you, see here. Go ahead. Or see there. Uh huh. Go not after Look, he them. over here. Look, he over there. The Lord say, go not after them. Go ahead. Nor follow them. Don't follow them. Go ahead. For as the lightning that lighten uh -huh. out of the one part under heaven, Go ahead. shineth unto the other part uh -huh. under heaven, uh -huh. so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. Now that's how it go come. Give me 26 now. Go ahead. And as it was in the days of Noah, as it was in the days of Noah, go ahead. So shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. So shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Go ahead. What's they that? did eat. They drank. They married. They did eat. They drank. And they married. Go wives. ahead. They married wives. Go ahead. They were given in marriage. They were given in marriage. And that's what they're doing now. They're given in marriage. They just having a ball right now. They partying like everything cool. New York just passed the law a couple weeks ago. It's okay for men and women to, uh, men to marry men, women to marry women. It's all good. But the Lord say just like in the days of Noah. Go ahead and read, bro. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Until the day Noah entered into the ark. Go ahead. And the flood came. And the flood came. Go ahead. And destroyed them all. And destroyed them all. Go ahead. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot. Like, likewise also as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat. They did eat. They drank. Uh-huh. They Give brought six and five, brother. They sold. sold six and five. They planted. They planted. Go ahead. They built it. Uh-huh. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and it brimstone rained fire from heaven. Fire. That's what it did. Rain fire and brimstone. It destroyed them all. And that's what's giving that. Give me Genesis five. What is it? Five, six and five. Six and five. Go ahead and read. Five through seven. Go ahead. Five. It destroyed them all. Go ahead and read Genesis six to five. I mean six. Five through seven. Go ahead. And it repented. The Lord that he had made man. So he repented the Lord that he made man. This he was like, man, dang, man, why he make them? Disrespectful people. Right. Don't want to listen, man. Go ahead and read. And it grieved him at his heart. And it grieved him at his heart, man. This is what's happening now. It's grieving the Lord at his heart. But see, the Lord ain't gonna just sit back and say, okay, oh man, oh, oh, man, I don't want to, I can't do nothing about it. No, that ain't how the Lord works. The Lord gonna destroy this place. Y'all don't want to sit up and do what he say. You got to pay. And that's why we coming out here to sound the alarm to let you know, sister. Yeah. Payment coming. The Lord going to get it about you. And that what it say? Oh, let me get that about you. The Lord going to get it about you. You can bet that. You ain't got to worry about that. You going to get what's coming. Keep disobeying the law, statutes, and commandments. Keep following seven day adventures. You going to pay, sister, one day. 
But we come out here to let you know you gotta put it down now. Cause you ain't got much time, sister. Just like in the days